Hey guys, I am back with another video, and happy Monday. So, yes, um, I want to do this for the an early November unboxing. Well, technically, a few, so check this out. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. <sighs> this is actually a Star Wars Mandalorian necklace. I mean, it's not really made out of, like, metal or anything. It's just, like, from a little plushy Yoda that my sister bought years ago. And you put it on the Yoda so Yo the baby Yoda can wear it. But I've been wearing this since Wednesday of last week. Because um, nothing happened bad, no. I just want to wear it because, well... It reminds me of my sister, and that's why. But anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. Yep. This is some stuff that I have in here from a week ago. Sadly, they're not for unboxings, so yeah. But these right here are... November's earliest unboxings. So we got this one. Bought this from eBay three days ago. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this out of the box. See what it is. In three, two, one. Okay, so check this out, guys. So if y'all ever heard of this thing called Loot Crate, check this out. It is from the Suicide Squad. This one is like a Loot Crate. Action figure thingy. Where my box cut her go. So let's go ahead and get this out of the box and see what he looks like out of the box. So here we go. Alrighty, guys. Here he is out of the box. Plus, what's really weird, why I looked everywhere, the base didn't even come with it. Guys, when I bought this a few days ago on eBay, it come, it's supposed to come with a base. So, here is John Cena and his Peacemaker outfit. I wish I could add a little blood stain to it. But, um, anyway guys, this unboxing video is going to get 100 out of 100. But, anyway guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay guys, so back with another unboxing this one's for amazon and yeah um now yes i did do an amazon unboxing two of them um, from a week ago so yep uh anyway here we go Okay, yeah, I'll be right back in the next scene. Alrighty, guys. So, here it is. The Miro Togata figure, which... Who opened this? Why would anyone even do this? This is the first time this happened to me, but... Let's go ahead and get them out of the box. Anyway, so here we go. Alrighty, guys. So here is Lemillion or Miro Togata out of the box. So it says slightly rotates. Front and back. Up and down. Hands also rotate, so that's the waist, and the legs too. So yeah, this review is just going to get a 100 out of 100, but the unboxing is going to get a 90.5, because, well, someone literally opened up my figurine right before they shipped it. But anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. 
Okay, ladies and gents, I am back with another unboxing video. Now, yes, if y'all remember about two days ago, I did an unboxing on uh, this Miro action figure from McFarlane Toys. And, it's like, and I don't want to like rotate the he head, which I forgot to tell you about that, because it's had to slightly, he like, you can slightly remove his head. Not like remove it, like just rotate his head. Which, yes, Amazon did find out that, uh, what happened about when I received the to the axe figure from its packaging, like, inside, like, the toy's packaging, like, was literally, like, the plastic thing that's on the, the cardboard was off. But, yep, uh, good thing anything gave me, like, I bought something else out of this. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get this unboxed, shall we? In 3, 2, 1. Also, I forgot to mention, uh, stay tuned for a review for this tomorrow morning on the Super Mario Bros. Runder stickers. I, um, my brother got me this when he went to GameStop last night. At midnight, because it was the Spider-Man 2 and uh, Super Mario Bros. Wonder re Midnight released. But, um, yep, stay tuned for that review. And again, that's for November's unboxing. So it's this one. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this out of the bag. Okay, so I got this thing called a... Hold on. Magna? Which... Uh, it's like this, but it's like really backwards. You can tell, like, but I wish I could show you guys the other things too. But anyway, this is actually volume three of Spy Family, because, uh, to be honest, it's, I, it's been like, what, nine months since I did a video about Spy Family? So anyway, um, here is year on the the um cover, and I paid like Amazon credit for this. But anyway, guys, uh, I'm gonna like re uh read it uh like while the video is paused and give it a, a review. So see you guys later. Okay, so final review. Um, not gonna lie, this is actually a heartwarming story. Really cute story, actually. Um, 100 out of 100. But, anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. But still, I'm really, truly sorry that, uh, this video has to be, like, three minutes. Because, uh, well, yeah, um, truly sorry for that. And also... I think that was one of my dorbs. And also, stay tuned for an uh, review for this tomorrow morning. But anyway, guys, like I said, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, guys, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys the front with it. It's just the stickers. But yes, if some of y'all didn't actually know, Marvel Spider-Man 2 Super Mario Bros. Runder just came out yesterday. One on Switch, and one on PS5. So here's the front. We got Elephant Mario, Luigi, Mario, Yoshi, The New Flowers, Peach, Toad, Goomba, and Daisy. So, yep. Um, it's in, like, this weird... It looks like one of those weird bags that you just put, like, the paper papers in, in my opinion. So, yep, I think you only get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which I thought it was eight. So, yep, uh, here is the front and here's the back. Here is the back. Now, it's just like the cover from the game. And, yes, this is kind of like a poster. Well, 
technically not a poster, because, you know, it's like a, a sheet with stickers on it, and I just found this pretty, pretty cool. But, um, anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. And before I end this video, let me just say this, and I'll end the video real quick. So, here we go. Um, I'm not going to take the stickers off the, the thing that's, like, stick to the, it. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing my words. But I am displaying this, and I am getting this out there before, no, I'm trying to, like, do this for an early November unboxing. But, again, this is just a review on the stickers. But, um, anyway, guys, uh. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, yes, this is my second stitch plush. So, y'all want to know what happened to my first stitch plush? I saw a guy right here. Um, I'm still not crazy about the little floppy hair on his head. But, yes, I did review this a few years ago. So let's go ahead and review the big plushie I bought from Walmart by Just Play two days ago. So here we go. Okay, guys. So here is the big plush I bought from Walmart the other day. So yes, this one is made by Just Play. Now you see the little, like, inside the ears? They're supposed to be purple, but on the... Disney Shop plushie right here. Because, yes, this is from Disney Shop. It's supposed to be purple, but to me, like, right there, it looks pink. So, yep, uh, here's the front, the side, the back, the other side, and the front again. So, yep, um, you see, like, his little belly part right here? It's supposed to be, like, a shiny blue. But I think they didn't have time to make that, but it is what it is. Now, let's go ahead and take the tag off to see what the tag looks like without the tag on. So, here we go. Alrighty, guys. So, here's the plus sheet without the tag on. And this plus review is going to get 100 out of 100. But, anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey guys, I am back with a, another video, and happy Wednesday, so yes, um, today is the 1st of November, so I was going to originally review this yesterday, but I was going to wait till today come, but yes, uh, this is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem, the Junior novel station and I think it's pretty windy out here so yep picked this up from Walmart about two days ago um because my local Walmart did, had this but a week later they had to put it on a clearance price like four dollars and then someone bought it before I did so yep uh we got Leo Mikey Raph Donnie, here's the side, the back, it's like one of those Marvel ones you see years ago, they did for like Thor, Doctor Strange, and all that, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna read this off camera and give it a good review, so here we go. Okay guys, so this book is going to get a hundred out of a hundred, but um, anyway guys, Hope you guys like, well, stay tuned for an unboxing later, but anyway, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, um, I am pretty shocked. So, yep, guys, uh, anyway, I'm sorry I didn't do my final October unboxing, um, but I am making it up for you guys, so... Yep, uh, here it is. I got the 
Justice League Cross over Ruby. Superheroes and Huntsman Part 2. Yes, I did do a unboxing on the first movie. Never got a chance to finish it. But yes, uh, this one is like Ruby, like Ruby, Bryce, Blake, and Yang go to the DC Universe. Again, I'm not going to spoil spoiler the movie. There's the other characters and the characters from Ruby. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to do a review of it yet because I got, got to see the movie first. Then I'll do a review on it. So, I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So, what I got to do is take this plastic wrap off and see what we get. Alrighty, guys. So, yes, I took the disc, I mean, not disc, uh, the digital code out. So, I'll show you guys the code. And here is the disc. Yep, it has Ruby on it this time. I think the first movie had Batman on the disc. I will have to relook. But anyway, guys, stay tuned for another unboxing video. And hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, um, yes, I know I am back with another video and unboxing. Because, yes, I know I did do a unboxing a couple hours ago so anyway guys um plus still um yes um i'm still sorry about yesterday yesterday's uh not getting an unboxing so yeah um anyway let's go ahead and get this out of the bag and see what it is in three two one okay so it is the Deadpool 2, I mean, Deadpool Samurai, Volume 2, Mong, nah, yes, um, if some of y'all may know, Deadpool had its own anime, Mag Magna series, you know, it's like the Spy Family one I reviewed a couple weeks ago, yes, I got a little surprise for you who's in this comic. So here it is. So do you guys see who that is? Yep, that's right. It is All Might from My Hero Academia. He made, he is a guest character in the comic books. I didn't even know uh, Deadpool was a My Hero fan. But anyway, I'm going ahead and read this off camera. And give it a review. So, here we go. Okay, so, this book is going to get a 100 out of 100. So, yep, um, this is the second time I have unboxed a Magna. But, anyway, guys, and yes, my phone is silent, so, yeah. But, anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys, so, I am back with another unboxing video. And yes, I bought this just three days ago, and it's actually going to be Bendy and the Ink Machine related. And this is actually going to be Fat Mojo's uh, final plushie, because uh, if some of y'all didn't know about a few months ago, Jack Pacific, the people that does the Mario and Sonic the Hedgehog toys and plushies, and they also used to make the WWE figures are coming out with the Bendy and the Ink Machine plushies by next year. But um, anyway, uh, this is just for display because I already got like a plushie for this character anyway. But this one is actually the Black Light plushie. So here we go. Okay, guys. So here it is. It is the Black Light Alice Angel plush. Now, yes, I do got Boris in this color too. I'll do a comparison. Hold on. Okay, so here is the Black Light Alice plush, and here is the regular plushie. This was released five years ago. This, I don't 
remember when it came out. But, uh, founded on Amazon for $29, which I am not paying that much for almost a, a few years old plushie. But let's go ahead and take the tag off. As she is... <laughs> oh man, I cannot speak that well. And see what she looks like without the tags on. Okay, guys. So here is the black light Alice Angel plush without the tags on. Uh, why I saw this? This kind of gave me like Marge vibes. You know, the mom from The Simpsons. But it's, um, anyway, guys, this plush review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. But anyway, hope you guys like. Comment, subscribe. Okay, so. Got a package from Amazon today. And this is really important to me because I never got this when it came out. Well, since it came out, I was originally going to unbox, unbox it three months ago. And yes, I did buy another PS2 controller, but I had to took it. Out of the packaging, so yeah, I'll show you guys what it is in three, two, one. It is the Danny Danny Phantom, a glitch and time. This came out four months ago on the 18th of July. Um, well, I heard about this. This is actually after the series finale. And, well, a lot of people still want the show back. But, yes, I am going to read it off camera and give it a review. So, here we go. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to give this book a hundred out of a hundred. Like, the review, a hundred out of a hundred. But, anyway, guys, you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys. So, we got two packages. We got one from Amazon and one from Entertainment Entertainment Earth. So I'm gonna open up this one and see what we got. I got two books. I got this. I got the Entertainment Earth thing a couple weeks ago. So anyway, guys, let's go ahead and take this one out and see what it is. So I got this, and I thought this was pretty cool because as some of y'all may know, I am. I do drawings too while I'm not like while I'm bored. So check this out. It is the My Hero Academia, the official EC illustration guide. I'm gonna look through every page and this is like how to draw the characters like Deku, All Might, Bakugo, Araka. Um, Lemillion and all that, but I'm gonna pause the video and read this off camera. So here we go. Okay, this book is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. But um, anyway, guys, um, I'm gonna do the other er, book review in the next video. So stay tuned for that. Hope you guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So the reason why I said I was going to review this book, because I did get it out of this bag, the, the other book that y'all saw the last video uh, I unboxed, plus reviewed out of this, and ew. A little hair in my mouth. So, here it is. It is the Animal Crossing New Horizons Magna volume one here it is here's the front and yes this came out a year after new horizons uh came out in 2020 so yep um here's the front the back the spine or whatever you call it so yeah um glad i had this in my um field game collection but I'm going to read, read it while the video is paused. So, stay tuned. 
my favorite characters in this one, and that character is Isabel. Very cute. There's a Super Mario manga too. Well, let me rephrase that. Also, a Super Mario Magna. But, um, anyway, guys, this book is going to get a 100 out of a 100. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. I didn't even pop. I, I didn't even stop the video. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hope that will help because it's pretty hot out here. Okay, so big moment I've been waiting for. Yes, I bought this from Entertainment Earth. Cause I know I know like a lot I know this is actually the first time I made a video about Entertainment Earth. Need my lucky psychic. The box kata. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I will show you guys what it is. And three, two, one. I thought I paused it. Hold on. Joink. Okay, so check this out. So, it is a Sega Ruby Rice plush. Um, yep. I found this on eBay, like, a few months ago. They wanted me to pay a hundred dollars for a plushie that recently just came out a few months ago. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna wait till Entertainment Earth gets done uh, making it a pre-order and that was it. But let's go ahead and take the tag off and see what she looks like without the tag on. So here we go. Okay guys, here she is without the tag on and the plush is gonna get a hundred out of a hundred. Oh, you guys, like, comment, subscribe. Alrighty, guys. So, remember I said I am going to do a unwrapping video like I did uh, yesterday morning on the Goose Happy Meal toy? Well, this one's actually from Burger King. And I ordered this towards the end of October. And it was supposed to be delivered to me, like, last week, and it was uh, a nightmare. So, yep, let's go ahead and get this out of the box. So, y'all know this is not going to be an unboxing. Well, technically, it was in a box, so, yeah. But the title of the video, I'm just going to, like, title it, like, unwrapping. Just titled it unwrapping, so that's what I'm going to do. So, here we go. So, again, I forgot to tell you in the beginning of the video, this is actually going to be part of November's unboxing, like my final unboxing slash, well, mostly technically unwrapping, because, again, I'm putting this, and November's compilations, so let's get this out of the bag, and this is the Splatoon, to Splatoon 2 Burger King toy. So let's go ahead and get this out of the bag and see what it does. And three, two, one. Okay, guys. So here is the toy out of the bag. So pink, I want to say it's a reference to Cali. And green is a reference to um, Mari. So here's the gimmick it does. If I could do it. Hold on. Let's see if I can. Oh, that's the gimmick, and this review and unwrapping is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. 